today we're going to build a custom tool that you never seen, you didn't know you wanted, but hopefully when you're done you can't live without it and you got to build your own. It's a little bit crazy, but I think it's going to work. Let's do it. Just a quick idea of what I'm trying to accomplish here. We all use impacts for everything. We know this is going to bust that nut free, but we don't always have the clearance. We don't always have the space, you know, working on the front of an engine or something. So you reach down in there, you stack your wrenches, you, you stack your leverage bar that you custom built in a different video on there. You break it free or you're in a tight area. You don't have room up here. So you take the hammer and you break it free. Yeah. You get the impact or not the impact. You, you get the breaker bar. You throw that on there. And maybe you don't have the room or it, you don't you can only hook the socket on and it's right here and so you only have that much room to bend or you know you throw the extension on that and this is just flexing you can't really hammer the end of the breaker bar because it just flexes so what we're building is we're going to hinge it right here so this is going to attach to the bolt you're going to have more flexibility this is going to be a hinge point and so you can hook it on there and you can hammer the back side almost the same thing as having the wrench on there cut off right there this attached and it's flexible and then you can just hammer this and break your nut free you'll find out so let's start cutting this and get there so i'm going to actually take some quarter inch plate and we're going to cut that out and we're just going to build like a tongue and groove um, hinge system so i'll have one tab coming off here and probably two tabs coming off here just to uh to fit it like that. Okay, the piece is basically cut out. So this is essentially going to go right there. That's going to be a pivot hole, and then we're going to have one of these sandwiched on each side with their pivot holes, and then this will go like that. We'll get there. Basic enough. So I'm going to use a 3 8 fine bolt through there. I don't want to actually use a nut on the outside. I actually don't even know if I want the head of this, but I'm going to live with it. So I'm going to thread this material so I can just thread this in and sandwich it that way. Little fact, just in case you don't know, a, a fine thread, same size bolt, a fine thread is stronger than a coarse thread, not because there's more threads to grab onto, it's because the bolt is actually bigger. Those grooves, those threads don't cut as deep, they're half as deep as a coarse thread. That's why it's stronger, so. Now it's just a matter of notching the handle so we can slide it in there and weld it on both sides. Okay, there's not a ton of crucial welding spots here, but I do need this piece. I need this to be perfectly square on there. So I think I'm gonna weld this second. I'm gonna weld my bar first. It doesn't really matter how these get attached. And then I'll put a square on this. Put this big socket so it's square with the table. And then I'll put a square with this because you don't want this at an angle. You want this straight up and down. Hey, I'll weld that up. I'll be back. Then we just made a little striker plate. We'll 
just trim this bolt up. Okay, we have a bolt right here. Say so you can't breach in there. You can't get your impact in there. You can't get leverage because there's a radiator hose here and something else here. Let's let's try it out. Let's take it, put it on. We got a little access over here on the side or something, and you know make sure that's on good. I have an extension because that's a small bolt. I should be you know you could also make one of these out of a three eighths. Oh, that loosened it like nothing. I don't really know how tight that was, but. I loosen it like nothing. You could actually still use this to tighten as well, to reach around a corner. I didn't engineer it um, with a ton of meat right here, so it's really not ideal. Okay, I don't even know the last time this bolt right here was off. So, well that's tightened. So we put it like this. If you have room. And we'll just hammer it. Like nothing. It's loose. You're going to whack at it. And the rotation of my arm right here, you know, up and down is zero, essentially. Okay, here we go. We got a transmission to engine bolt. Get down in here. It's a nice tight squeeze. There, I'm on it. I mean, I got lines everywhere. Yeah, I can move it, but this is the idea is how do I break that free? So, let's put it on there and let's give it some wax. It's loose. It's broken. Another bite on it. And it's off. Let's try a lug nut just to try one. Not that a lug nut is a hard thing to access, but. Loosened right up. And there is still leverage on it. I didn't even think about this. You put it this way, and it's still like a breaker bar. You know, I'm going against my welds, how I didn't strengthen them, but it is there. Just like that. Ready? And I'll tighten it back up. You hear that? That mix is so good. So it's gonna rust in these areas. So we'll just touch it, touch it with some red spray paint. I really need to build a three eighths one. Um, I wasn't. Sure. This is just what I had laying around. This is the Great Neck. Um, just a Taiwanese thing, not a expensive breaker bar. But you can pick up a three eighths the same length. I went over to Harbor Freight for fifteen bucks or something. Go check out the video on the wrench extender. This has been one of my favorite tools I've ever built. Whoop, nothing. Tighten, loosen, extra leverage, way better than stacking wrenches. Okay, go out, open the door. You got it, open it, come on. Grab it, pull. You've been practicing this for like a week. Come on, pull it. You got it, this is the time. We, you can do it, come on, pull. Not quite, get it. Get it, come on. Pull, drop it, go. Here we go, see you guys later. Have a good one. What are we gonna eat for dinner?